What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model the Eiffel Tower in Revit. Now this will be just a simple kind of a massing tutorial or actually I'm just going to be using an in-place uh, family but it will show you how to get to the general shape of the Eiffel Tower and then you can kind of redo some of the elements and put some steel elements in there of course but this is how you get to the general shape and how you start off a project like this. But of course before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media and if you would like to get the project file that I create in this here video the Eiffel Tower project uh, just make sure to go to my patreon first link in the description and there you can for only five dollars a month you'll get access to all of my project files over 140 files so far and of course you will get this project file as well but anyway let's get started here I am in Revit and I'm just going to move Revit out of the way for a second just to show you this is the picture I'm going to be using this is kind of the elevation of the Eiffel Tower so this is something that I need to use to kind of get the to get the whole shape but anyway let's cancel out of this open up Revit start with the architectural template as I always do for kind of these Revit gameplay uh, projects and as soon as Revit starts uh, I am just going to go to south elevation and here let's load the image immediately so just move this out of the way and you can just drag the image over and place it or alternatively you can go to insert and then go to image and then find image place it in I just prefer this kind of a faster way to kind of slide it over now I'm just going to kind of place it like this I'm not going to bother with the scaling too much as this is just kind of a a little random kind of game more than a actual realistic project but anyway so I'm just going to be placing kind of the Eiffel Tower there maybe center it a bit on the screen and also what I would like to do is I would like to kind of add some vertical elements so let's go to architecture and let's use grid for this or you can use as it says here GR for shortcut and you just place the grid kind of like that a vertical grid let's see how it places and as you can see it's kind of off center just slightly so what we can do is we can make sure that it's centered over here and then we can kind of take the whole picture and rotate it a bit so select this image rotate uh, make sure that copy is unselected or unchecked go place uh, center of location let's choose this part over here and then let's go over here and kind of go from here to here okay did it rotate it no it didn't so let's try again so again place this here or we can just kinda maybe if we added a number it will be easier so let's try something like one degree okay it should be reverse so let's undo that let's I think it will be minus half degree looking at this for when so when you're doing something like this you kinda have to uh, eyeball it and then try it it's it's always hard to kind of rotate for this small value so let's try minus 0.5 okay that almost works uh, we should probably go undo this and it should probably be minus uh, 0.25 so let's try again so rotate it's a bit of kind of uh, trying out different versions minus 0.25 let's see okay this looks pretty centered now so now this image works or it's as vertical as we're going to be getting it so now we can start to kinda uh, playing around with it so the first thing I'm, I'm going to be doing is to create a an in place family so go to component model in place and for this you can choose whatever you want I'm just going to go with a generic model hit OK and now let's just do the half of this uh, kinda uh, the outer skin and then we're going to poke holes in it using some voids so that's the easiest way to do this so you just go extrusion but for extrusion you need a work plane and we don't have one so go to level one over here go to reference plane and just place one kind of horizontally like this and let's just name it work plane a who cares go to south elevation and go to create extrusion and now we start uh, uh, modeling it just pick uh, work plane by name and you go to work plane a or reference plane a 
and now we can start modeling. So you just go over here and you just use a simple line. You kind of go like that, and you kind of follow the follow the drawing as it goes, or follow the elevation, maybe kind of like this. Here we can go to heat this, maybe end it here, kind of go like that. Now this is kind of slightly curved, but it's not too much, so I'm just going to go straight over here and then go maybe like this and here we have kind of a more curvature so I'm just going to go from here to up here this part I'm going to be leaving straight and then uh, this medium part from here to here I'm just going to do as an arc so kind of arc it like that and another arc over here just to kind of do it as it is in real life and then continue on over here kind of like that Oops, not an arc, just a regular line. Kind of go like this, this, go up here, then do another arc going kind of stretching through that. And then just go up here like this. Okay, it's almost over this part. So you just kind of go like that and make sure to end up in the middle of this kind of a grid line. Now what you need to do is you need to add some thickness to it. So let's go here to pick lines and give it an offset of, I don't know, point, let's do, let's do point, let's do point zero seven, maybe. Let's see how that looks like. Or no, point, point one, or no, this is in millimeters. Oh, so let's try 70. Okay, so this works. So this is a good offset. So you kind of go just like that and you just give it offset wherever you have your lines. Maybe we can leave that like that. Go up here again, just give everywhere an offset. Just continue doing that all the way to the upper portion of this thing. So same thing here, same thing here, here as well here also kind of like that okay and now let's just uh, close it off so just make sure you kind of cap it over here and then you go trim and extend TR is the shortcut and you just trim and extend all of the parts that are kind of overlapping and ugly so let's see this works let's go up here okay some trim and extend going on there let's go all the way up and yeah let's fix this fix this up and yeah, this looks pretty all right. So now we can select everything, go MM for mirror with pick access. And now as you can see, it's on mirror to the other side. And this looks almost fine. Okay, I don't like this arc. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create another one over here, kind of like that. Uh, this will work. Okay, so we're done with this. Just hit finish and go into your level one and extend it all the way here and here. And you don't have to be overly precise. We're going to remove the rest with a void uh, when we get to it. But anyway, so we're done with this part. Just hit finish. Now we have to add another image. So go to your east elevation. And now you go to kind of move Revit up to the way load in that picture once again just don't change the scale leave it as is and uh, just to see it better I'm just going to be changing this to wireframe and now let's place it but as you remember we rotated the first one so it only makes sense to rotate the second one so just go like this rotate place the center of rotation kind of like there and then uh, rotate it by the value of minus 0 0.22, 25, sorry. So that's the one that I used for the previous one. So that's the one that I'm going to be using for this one. Okay, so you just make sure that it kind of aligns to the bottom line of this one. That makes sense. Now let's add that grid line. So grid line or what's the shortcut? GR and let's place it over here, kind of like that. Now let's just select that grid line and kind of just using the arrow keys, kind of make sure that they're in the center. Okay, this works fine. Okay, it's in the center. And now it's time to add some voids. To add those, we need to go here and select our uh, in, place ma uh, in place family, just go edit in place. And now first we need to set a reference plane on which we're going to be placing that void. So just go to level one and go to reference plane or you can use a shortcut RP. There we go. 
and we just place it over here and let's name this one the last one was a this one should be b accordingly and now let's go back into east elevation and let's start modeling our void so the void is actually everything that we're going to cut out so we need to cut out this part over here and then all of these little holes now to do that just go to create void forms void extrusion uh, choose here reference plane b and now you just start kind of the same way you started the last one so you go from there to there and as you can see you've got this little these little marks that may help you maybe like that okay now go up you go up to there kind of like this go all the way up here go all the way up here then you go to this portion then you go to this this part over here or no let's do those little notches kind of like that you got to have the notches okay and now let's do the the same thing that we did uh, earlier on so we start from here we go all the way down where it starts curving kind of aggressively to here and then just go to arc and go from there to kind of this okay and let's finish off this over here and now we're just going to be doing kind of those inner parts and I'm just going to be showing you how to do that so let's just finish this part yeah kind of like arc it a little bit kind of like that and I'm not being overly precise over here as I'm doing this just kind of an, as a fun exercise but if you want to be of course you can do this way more precisely but anyway okay we've got this part done so now we've got to kind of trim and extend this but anyway now we need to cut out all of these holes that we have over here so you need to actually go in and just model all of these holes so I'm just going to be speeding that up as you I guess you don't really need to see all of that <music> Okay, and when you're at this point where you've only got like, uh, you've got the half done, now we just need to kind of create an outline that will uh, eat up this whole portion of the, of the mass, so kind of go like this, and you can end it kind of like that, and just make sure you've done all of these interior kind of parts, this one as well, and then this part you can kind of extend it just a little bit like that. Okay, so now you select everything, you type in MM for mirror with pick access, and you get something that looks like this. And you can just go trim and extend and connect this part, and here, of course, connect these two, and hopefully this will work. Trim and extend here as well. Okay, and just hit finish. Okay. Okay, something isn't closed up. So you kind of zoom in like this and you hit finish again. Okay, so here we've got a problem. What's the deal here? Okay, it's this. And it's probably the same thing on the other side. Yeah, let's see now. Does it work? Okay, so we've got a bunch of these kind of connection issues. So you need to fix those up. Let's see, it's here as well. Where else? Okay, this. 
So you kind of have to go around and just fixing up all of those little mistakes that you probably made by when modeling and you always miss a few of these. Okay, and it's done. So now what you need to do is you need to go to your level one and here you need to kind of extend this void like this, extend it here as well. And once that's finished, you go into 3D and this is what you get. Okay, so this part we can kind of make it smaller and make it disappear okay so there we go we've got one part of the Eiffel Tower and now to make it the whole thing uh, kinda complete what you need to do is you need to finish uh, this uh, model and you go to level 1 you select this thing you go to rotate copy place center of rotation over here and then just kinda rotate it by 90 degrees it will copy it and rotate it by 90 degrees and now if we go into 3d let's cancel out of that you get your Eiffel Tower and if we turn on some shadows it will look really cool okay of course now this is just the starting part and now if you want to make this look realistic you would go in and you would kind of create some beams over here instead of this and make it look like it's actually made out of steel but this is anyway uh, this is kind of the way you approach a project like this if you were modeling something that looks like an Eiffel Tower and of course you would have to do everything a bit more precise with all of these kind of beams going on everywhere but anyway, that's it for this Eiffel Tower tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something new. And if you want to get this project file, again, go to my Patreon. First link in the description. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.